Jared Polin, fronosphoto.com, and I'm going to call this a vintage raw edit, and you're going to hear why in just a second, but it's brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe Lightroom. So here is the photo in question. Why is it vintagey? Because it's from 2007, 7 to 2007. Now, the reason I d dug back in to find this photo is the client here, which is anti-gravity, called me and said, do you have that photo? You know, that photo you did for us in 2007. And I was like, no. Uh, but luckily they had a print of it on the wall. They took a picture of it and I knew where to look because in Lightroom, I've got my catalogs all set up from multiple different years. And I was able to go back and easily find this raw image because it was raw. Now, remember, what's great about the raw images is that you can go back time and time again, and this is Adobe Light, this is Lightroom 1.1. Originally came out in 2007, it was only out for a couple of months when I started editing these raw files in Lightroom. So that's what's cool about the raw files, is the same edits that I made in 2007 are right here stored in the file. Now it's done with right now the old editing that was there. So this is the edit that I did in 2007. If I hit the reset button, it's going to update it, the raw file, or at least updating the ability for me to tweak it with the current settings or the current tweaks that Lightroom lets you do. That is why, that's why we shoot raw. Because in 2007, you could only, you could do X, Y, and Z with your edits. Now you can do one, two, and three with your edits. You can do even more. But if you did this all in JPEG back in the day, you would be SOL right now doing it. So I'm going to make this raw file available for you guys to download and do whatever you want with in terms of editing to tweak it to see what it's like to do it. But you have to download the DNG file to do that over on the website. This was the original edit. This was the photo. Let's see. This was really that button doesn't work in, in here. Okay. Let's just hit reset and see where we were at because this was the final edit I did. And boom. The first thing you'll notice is that I had to straighten it out because I didn't do such a good job there. But now we went from, look, you see over here, exposure, recovery, fill light, blacks, lots of less options that you had back then to play with. Then when we hit reset, this is what we're dealing with. Now we're dealing with a file uh, that's ready to be edited with today's Lightroom. Let's go through the settings. 1 40th of a second at f6.3, ISO 500. You're like, well, why was your ISO so low? Why was your shutter speed so low? Because I was using a Nikon D2XS with a 12 millimeter, 12 to 24 DX f4, which was the first DX lens that Nikon came out with. It was actually in a gray box. For whatever reason, it wasn't gold. And you're talking to D2XS. If you push that too far, you're going to be in trouble. Now, at 500, it's not that bad. It's not that good, but let's see what we can do with this file now that we're editing it with today's edits. I'll straighten it out. I don't like cropping, but because it's for the client, quote unquote, I'll make an exception this time. Uh, straighten, straighten me out button. Where is the, is that over here? That's because I don't do this very often. But to straighten it out, I want to find a line that would theoretically be straight, and that would be the edge of the stage. Boom. And that should be pretty darn close. All right, so we got that. I'm not sure why I needed to crop in the first place. I guess I cropped in a little tighter. Let's see how we're going to tweak this and what we're going to do. It's a little over. We can do this. Oh, what I should have done is the, uh, oh, I do have a snapshot of the original, right? Yeah, to see where we went from. Because if I don't do it better than, than it was then, we're going to be in trouble. Though that sometimes is the is the is an issue that you run into. You're like, oh, I liked my edit from way back in the day, but why can't I do it better now? I'm going through the process that I personally go through, which is tweaking tweaking stuff. I liked. Oh my god, oh my god. Does this guy not have the biggest arms in the history of arms? I mean, I'm nowhere even close to this guy, and he is just a massive body muscle killer guy. Anyway. I probably spent a lot of time editing that other image because I knew that they wanted to print it on their wall. So I'm just seeing what I can do, whether I'm bringing back the background. This is at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. Just tweaking, just tweaking. Don't want it too dark because I want the, uh, the people to, to, 
I don't want to lose Ray Shine over here, woo woo, and all these ladies and all these fine people. All right, we got, you know, I don't really come down here too much, but I like, I like what it's doing up in, into the sky. The color doesn't look terrible. I think the difference is when I put one against the other, yeah, it's too dark. Too much contrast, too dark. Let's go back into the medium here with the curve. I, do, I mean, I like the vibrancy that happens here. Wow, you got all this, uh, is that dust in the air that's reflecting back or is it movement? It may be movement because I'm at 1 40th of a second. See, I don't even know what changes I did to the other file. Let me save a snapshot as new and let's go here. Oh, yeah, good. Thankfully, whew, whew, it's a little tighter. Let's, let's, you know, do we want to play with the crop game? Because of, no, I mean, I don't like that I have this guy over here and then I don't have, ah. Uh, here, see, this is the stuff that gets me. This is, this is where you learn composition, is you see shots like this where people say, oh, you can just simply crop it. Yeah, you can simply crop it, but learn from that so that in the future, you get it right in the camera. I think I recall what was going on here. This was gonna be a really quick thing. I had to run out on stage, I had to take the picture, I had to run back off stage, and I didn't want to be seen. Though I shouldn't worry when there's about 14, 15 people in front of me, should have taken the time to try to get it straight, but it's that thing where you have to get that one shot and move on. One shot and done, and you have one chance to get it right. Um, so let's do the crappie thing to show you. I don't want to lose the famous part of the Hammerstein or the, or the lower part of the screen, Oh, ah, see, as we change, we ha I did get most of him in there, but we're seeing that now that I, that I didn't fully do that. And plus, cropping with this 12.2 megapixel back in the day could be a little bit of an issue. All right, so I'm going to squeeze that back over, and I just want to match it from the left to the right as much as possible. Hey, get out of here, Java. Do I like that or do I like the, the other one? Control Z or Command Z undoes it, but it didn't really do anything. Ah, it's because it keeps it. See, this is, that's that. Why is it cropping so much over there? Hmm. But it, got, it gave me Christopher Harrison in the middle here more. So yeah, we're gonna go with this crop. We're just gonna do it. You guys have the ability to edit this file yourself. Here is, let's update the new one. We're gonna right click, update it. I like snapshots because I can save multiple ones and then go back and forth and check them out. This was the original import. Doesn't look terrible. Not bad processing at all back then. And then here's the new one. Very similar. It's not bad at all. Oh, it's much tighter in the in the pants. No, I'm not. We'll we'll use either of their butts. But look at the difference here. You go from this one, nice black, nice thicker, and to here, you can see how the tones are. It's not as vibrant. It's not as sad. You know, yeah, it just looks tighter here. At least I'm just hoping that it does look tighter. What's your guys' opinion? It's not perfect. I didn't spend, ah, man, because I like the colors in their arms over here. Maybe I took it in the Photoshop back in the day. It's possible. I'm going to have to keep tweaking here. But like I said, I'm giving you the raw file so you can do this stuff on your own. Maybe I played with the vibrance and saturation a little bit, too. I don't want to go too far with it. Come back because it is meant to be a little bit yellow. Yellow, update, old, new, old, new. It's too, it's too uh, blue, I gotta go back. Because it, look, look, that is bright ass yellow light coming in, you need to have it that way. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, you guys can download the raw file over on the website, but I want to let you know if you haven't checked out uh, Lightroom yet, you can get a free trial. Just go to froknowsphoto.com slash ccphoto 
to go ahead and download a free 30-day trial of Lightroom so you can play with the DNG file that I am exporting for you guys to play with on the site. So I'd love to see what your edits look like. Post them over on the Facebook page. Tweet them at me. Snapchat them at me. Do whatever you need to do, but go ahead and have fun with this raw file, this DNG file in Lightroom. And that is a vintagey, vintage edit from an old raw file, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.